Well, good morning, everybody. I am glad you've joined me for today's video devotion. It's Friday, the end of another week. I just want to encourage you, as I always do, to worship Jesus this Sunday. If possible, in person, our services here at First Baptist are at 9 o'clock and 1030. And you can also watch us online. But be in church, worship Jesus, find a way to honor Jesus, you and your loved ones, this Sunday. Today in our video devotion, we are in Genesis chapter 40. And um, I want to talk today about uh, how people can be inconsistent. Sometimes they can bless us and other times they hurt us. And the truth is, I'm not always consistent and neither are you. What can we learn from that? Um, in chapter 40, Joseph uh, is in prison. And uh, if you've read the chapter already... Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, becomes angry with two of his personal servants. One was his cupbearer, the guy who brought him his wine to drink every day and would taste it to make sure no one had tried to poison him. And the other was his chief baker, the chief cook, if you will, in the palace kitchen. For some reason, Pharaoh was angry, put them both in prison, and it just happened they ended up in the same prison where Joseph was. Of course, each of them had a dream. Joseph interpreted the dream, none in and of himself. God gave him the interpretation and uh, the interpretations proved true. The uh, cupbearer was released from prison and restored to service for the Pharaoh. Uh, the uh, chief baker, as Joseph had said, uh, with his interpretation, the dream was executed by the Pharaoh. And Joseph had said uh, to, to the cupbearer in verse 14 of chapter 40, Only keep me in mind when it goes well with you, and please do, do me a kindness by mentioning me to Pharaoh and get me out of this house. In other words, get me out of prison. So when you're set free and you're returned to serving the Pharaoh as his cupbearer, mention me to him. Get me out of this prison. Well, the cupbearer let Joseph down. Once he was out of prison, back in the palace serving the Pharaoh again, he didn't say anything about Joseph for two solid years, we're told. Two years passed, and then you'll see in the next chapter, Pharaoh had two dreams, and ah, the cupbearer remembered Joseph and what he had done for him and told Pharaoh, and eventually Joseph is let out of prison. But in chapter 40, the cupbearer lets him down. Two years passed. Now remember, he'd already been let down by his brothers who sold him into slavery. He had been let down by Potiphar who believed his wife and put him in prison, and now he's let down by the cupbearer who had promised to remember him when he got out of prison and restored to the king's service, but he didn't do it. And so Joseph, in his young life, had experienced the inconsistency of people um, to a great extent. And you and I have experienced that. People, sometimes they help us. Other times they hurt us. They bless us. They curse us. And sometimes we're the one doing that. We're inconsistent. And so the takeaway for me as I was reading that and thinking about all of it and, and praying through it, is that uh, I need to be as consistent as I can be. And so do you. And I just want to encourage us this Friday uh, to be consistent in our relationships with people, in our relationship with God. Let's just be, let's just be con consistent um, and, and try our best to not let people down and try our best to not let God down through all the circumstances of, of, of life. It'll just make life better for everybody, don't you think? Hey, I hope you have a great weekend and you'll be worshiping Jesus with us this coming Sunday. God bless you, and I'll see you Monday with another devotion.